Hey what's up guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another element tips and tricks tutorial this video i will show you how you can create this kind of nice animated background effect using elementor for this tutorial i'm going to use elementor pro version and little bit of css code i will not use any kind of extra plugin so your site will not be overloaded in this tutorial i will show you how you can create this kind of nice cool effect in few minutes and by creating this kind of cool effect you can take your website to a next level by the way if you like to see this kind of valuable tutorial more give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel now let's go ahead and without any further ado let's get started I'm starting with a blank page and here I'm taking a new section or this is enabled in container mode. So you already know how we can enable the Flexbox container. If you don't know, I'm showing you again. So from the dashboard, if you go to Elementor settings and then go to experiments and here if we scroll down, here we will find the options Flexbox container. So by default, this is uh, inactive we have to activate if we want to use it or if you like to use the normal or default section row mode you can go with that so for now I'm going with the container going to the plus icon and taking the first one column direction and here I'm taking mean height making it to V8 and 100 so it's taking the full height of the screen size and also changing the background color to a dark color so going to style tab and i'm taking a black color and now inside this container i'm taking a new elements so click on this plus icon and here i'm taking html so this is a elements html tag and here i need to add some html code now you can go to my website i will also leave this page link in my description so you can access it from there and here if i scroll down here i have added some html code you need not to worry about all this html or css code i have write down all this in step by step here so simply copy all this code and paste it here if you look at this code here is normally a div and I added a class name bubbles and inside this here I have added several span tags and for each of the tag here will create some circles so let's go ahead if I scroll down here is the CSS code first I'm going to copy all the CSS code and now going to advance and if i scroll down here is the options custom css by the way this custom css options is only available on elementor pro version so if you still did not get elementor pro i will leave the elementor pro download link in my description so you can check it from there all right after activating the elementor pro you will also get this custom css options and here simply paste our css code and boom we can see all the bubbles are animating throughout the sections now if we want to customize these bubbles so if I go to the HTML code and here for each of the span tag you can see each of the circles so if you want to remove some bubbles so for example if I remove some from here we can see the numbers of bubbles is now decreasing and here in the same way we can copy and paste more bubbles if we want all right going back and now if i want to change the bubble size or colors we can also do that so if i go to advanced and custom css so here i used two color one is the red color and another is this green color so color one and also the color one shadow color so we can change it from here and color two and color two shadow so we can see here is a shadow around this red circle and green circle we can change color from here and the size by default here i have added 20 pixel we can increase the size if we make it 
30. So you can see all the bubble size is increases and also the color. If we want to change the color, for example, the red color. So for that, you can take any color. You can take RGB color or any color. So if I search on Google RGB color picker and you can go to any website. I'm going here and instead of this red color, I'm taking yellow color. So from here. I'm going to yellow color and taking something like this. Going to copy this RGB and instead of this red, I'm adding this yellow and also I need to select a shadow color for yellow. So I'm going to select something darker version of yellow and going to copy and going to paste the shadow color. All right, looks good. So in the similar way, if you know some basic CSS, you can also customize more from all these CSS. Basically, you need not to worry about all these CSS. So if you want to change the color size, you can do it from here. And here is some animation I have added. So if you want to change it, you can check it here. And now for this section, if I want to add some text and button over this section, we can also do that. So First, I'm going to this HTML, going to Navigator, and here is the HTML widgets. And here, going to Layouts from Advanced, and the Z index, I'm making it to zero. And now, I want to add some text, small text and button. I'm going back, taking a heading, then some small text. And if I go to container, going to layout, items, and making the alignment to vertically center. And also going to add some buttons or two buttons. So before that, I'm taking another container. And inside this, I'm taking buttons. Taking one button. And one more and here I'm changing the direction to row so going to edit container and items making the direction to row all right looks good and finally going to add some styling with our text and buttons all right I'm done I have added some styling with our text and button and also I have add some padding on right for this whole container but here for the background widgets, I want to make it the full width. So from the HTML, if I go to advance and making the width to 100% and also making the position to absolute. All right. So it's taking the full screen. I'm crossing the navigator and if I hide the panel. So it's now taking the full width, all is good. And finally, saving our page. Going back to preview changes. All right, here is the final result. So that's all for today. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Otherwise, you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here, like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And finally, if you like to work with me for any WordPress project, you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.